In the comments of many of our videos on this channel covering Windows 11 features and settings, users have asked how to enable the ultimate performance power plan if they don't see it, and even if it's worth using. So I'll cover both of those questions and share the results of the benchmarks I conducted earlier to answer the second question. I'll now show you how to enable the ultimate performance power plan. So let's open the control panel, go to search in the taskbar, and type control. Then select control panel. To view this the same way I'm showing you in the drop down menu for, for view by, select large icons, then select power options. You can also get here through the settings app, which is much more convoluted. So this is the quickest way. Now look for ultimate performance. If you don't see it in preferred plans, click show additional plans. If you don't see ultimate performance listed, I'll show you how to add it to the list of power plans coming up. If you do see it, click on it to enable it. Ultimate performance is intended for higher end systems, but yours doesn't need to be to enable it. As Microsoft describes it, this new plan builds upon the high performance plan to further eliminate micro latencies associated with fine grained power management techniques. In layman's terms, ultimate performance reduces the warm up period your hardware needs to consume all the power it wants. At that moment, improving the speeds on computers whose hardware constantly goes in and out of an idle state. For example, with ultimate performance enabled, you'll experience less lag if you do 3D design or some other task, irregular heavy loads to your GPU, CPU, or other hardware on your system. One downside to ultimate performance is that it will consume more power. If you're using this with a laptop, it's advised to keep it plugged in while this is enabled because it will drain your battery faster. If you did not see ultimate performance in the list of power plans, close out the control panel, you can add it to the list using PowerShell or the command prompt as an administrator. The command line I'll be showing you is the same for both. For this one, we'll use the command prompt. So go to the search box and type C as in Charlie, M as in Michael, and D as in David. Don't select it right here. Instead, go to the right and click on Run as Administrator. Type the following command, starting with Power CFG. And make sure you add a space before typing the rest. To make doing this easier, I have this command posted in the description of this video if you'd prefer to just copy and paste it. When you're done, hit enter on your keyboard. To know you've done this correctly, below that you'll see power scheme and at the end of that line in parentheses, ultimate performance. To close out the command prompt window, you could click on the X in the upper right like you do with most apps or do it the old school way. Type exit and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now when you go to your list of power plans, ultimate performance should be listed and just select it to enable it. Coming up, I'll be showing you the benchmarks I did earlier to give you some kind of idea if it's worth using for you. Not long after Microsoft made the power plan ultimate performance available, I used the 3 d Mark computer benchmarking tool to determine the performance of the 3D graphics rendering and CPU workload processing capabilities using each power plan listed earlier. The higher the score, the better the performance. The variables were exactly the same for each test with no other program running. On the low end here, in power saver mode, the overall score was 7,228. Switching to Microsoft's recommended power plan, Balanced, saw a big jump to 8,597. A surprising result was with high performance, its score was 8,682, which is only a slight increase over Balanced. And then there's Ultimate Performance, whose score was 8,719, which was only 37 higher than High Performance. If your system needs an extra boost, yes, the Ultimate Performance Power Plan might be worth it to you to use it, even though you might not notice much of a difference over the High Performance Power Plan. Remember that using Ultimate Performance does consume more power, so the trade-off might not be worth it. Thanks for watching. Links and the command prompt are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you have any video ideas you'd like for us to cover, let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our newest Windows 11 videos and other tech related stuff here on Brett in Tech.